With Howard, is it a matter of just making him work? Um, yeah, it's a lot of things, you know. And uh, some, you know, he's one of those guys where if he gets it going, and he gets in a rhythm, you can actually do good things, and he still scores. So you know, you have to do a good job of keeping him off the free throw line. Also, you know, he's uh, almost automatic from the free throw line. So making it hard for him, uh, making him earn things. Uh, but it's uh, you know we we had a lot of experience of dealing with somebody like him, you know, Garden Carson in practice, you know. And so that's what I talked to our guys about. It's like if we had to go prepare, you know, for Carson, you know, how would we go about this? And you, we would all know we'd have our hands full. And so you have to know going into it, you have your hands full and what you can live with and what you can't live with. You know, don't foul him. Make it hard for him. Don't let him get easy catches. Don't let him get in rhythm. And then when he does make tough ones, you know, shake his hand. You know, don't, don't get worried about that. You know, mm -hmm. do the best you can. And uh, a lot of times people, when he hits tough ones, they overdo things, then they start to foul him, then he starts to get angles. So now he gets layups, floaters, threes, and, you know, free throws. He gets the whole gamut. You can't let him get everything. You've got to take some things away from him. What part of this game is like Carson's? Uh, his ability to, uh, to pull threes off his left hand. Like he's so good going to his left and getting space and then being able to do just a step back or a straight pull up. You know, he has that, you know, 25 to 30 feet range. So you have to go out and guard him. You have to guard somebody out further. It gives them more space to play. Uh, he's got a good pull-up game, um, you know, like Carson. He probably gets to his pull-ups a little bit more um, than him. So, but no, he's just a you know, score. You know, both those guys averaged 25 last year. He was probably a little more efficient. Um, you know, he had two really good shooters with him last year. And the Housers, and so that really created a lot of space for him. But we had a lot of skill with Carson too, so that created a lot of space for Carson. There's a there's a lot of uh, kind of eerie similarities between the two guys. Are there any elements, be that general, general or specific, about your team defense that you saw from Texas that you want to see refined here going into Marquette? Um, just some little things. I, I thought we had um, some good moments in the game. We turned them over. Um, they were efficient with their shots. We just had some. Some simple fundamental breakdowns at times, um, kind of not knowing their personnel, leaving certain guys open, uh, and then at times we, we didn't do a good job of containing the drill. And, and so at the end, like you can walk through a lot of different things and different actions, but you got to be able to keep the ball in front of you. Uh, so just keep working on the same things, keep getting better. But um, if we don't have to foul them at the end, they're going to score somewhere in the mid 60s. That's good enough, in my opinion, mm -hmm. when you play at home. You should be able to score 70 points at home. How does Marquette operate differently without the Housers? What is that? I think, this, I think the like? other guys, uh, I think they're in a very uh, uh, learning, kind of a learning curve with their team. Mm -hmm. They have good players that have been in roles that now have to expand their roles, mm -hmm. and they're going to have more opportunities. And how will those guys you know, react to that? How productive will those guys be, especially in terms of making threes? Right. They have a lot of guys on their team that have, that are, the guys that have shot good percentages have been low value. Mm. And then the other guys just haven't had enough of an opportunity, uh, but they come with the reputation of guys that can shoot. So right. as a coach, it's not one of those absolutes, you know, like, hey, this guy can't shoot, this guy can't shoot. Mm. You know, they're all still kind of on proving ground. And uh, it's kind of similar to our team, to be honest with you. They have some freshmen that are now becoming sophomores, and sophomores becoming juniors that now have those expanded roles. So um, if those guys can't shoot as well, you know, it just shrinks the field. It just makes it a little bit harder. And uh, but if they do shoot the basketball well, now it really puts the defense in a bind. Do you expect to put on? Do you expect to put on? We'll put different people on it, but yeah, there's no question he'll guard himself.